Revolve feature and Revolve cut features are very similar to basic extrudes in that we need a sketch. However, we also need an axis of rotation. Now by default, we have several different axes already preloaded in each individual part. So notice I have got an X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis. And you can create your own axes if you'd like to, uh, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. It's right up here if you wanted to create that axis uh, in the future. But for right now, let's just go ahead and create a sketch. So I'm gonna activate a 2D sketch. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this plane right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a rectangle out right over here. Okay, I'm gonna take that rectangle, I'm gonna rotate it around this axis, which is in the center of the part. So I'm gonna deactivate that sketch first, and then I'm gonna go over here to revolve, right? So revolve, I'm revolving that sketch, and the axis I'd like to rotate around is this y-axis. Notice I'm selecting it here from the Design Explorer. It's right there, I can also pick it right there. And if I do that, I get this kind of flat washer looking shape because I'm taking that rectangular shape here and rotating it around that axis. Click OK and there's your shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take a look at that view palette for a second. I'm gonna toggle the references. I'm gonna turn everything off so I can just see what's happening right there. And I can see that's my original sketch, right? Here he is, uh, just a rectangle. And then that's my revolve around and the axes was this one right here, right? That's what I'm spinning it around. Now, of course, I could do a revolve around any axes. It doesn't really matter. I can create my own. I can use the X, the Y, or the Z, your choice. And I can go back and I can modify that sketch just like I could in an extrude. Anything that I'm putting inside of that sketch will automatically be revolved around. The extrude or the revolve feature are separate from the sketch. They reference each other, but they're independent, right? So here's that sketch. Let's go back over here, click on edit, and let's add something else. How about we'll just put a circle, a random circle, uh, like right above it, right? And then I'm gonna deactivate the sketch, and guess what? I get a donut directly above my washer, right? Because it's just taking whatever's in that sketch, again, just rotating it around, so that makes sense. Now, if I wanted to make a cut, for instance, I could, of course, go back here to the sketch one more time, and come in here and say, hey, let's, Let's, uh, let's trim off a corner. So I'm gonna make a line here and cut that off. Um, and do one more little cut up here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do some trimming. I'm gonna trim this away. I'm gonna say, I'd like to get rid of that. Get rid of that, let's get rid of that, that. And let's trim these corners off here. So we're gonna have a preview of using that trim tool. All right, so I'm trimming both those things away, deactivating the sketch, and of course, that modifies both of those parts because I've trimmed away that upper corner of each of them. So, a bunch of things you can do with the Revolve tool, just, but it's, you can use squares, circles, polygons, whatever you want, uh, just have to have an axis rotation and some basic shapes. Now, if I want to use the Revolve Cut feature, it works very similar, right? Now, I've already drawn on that X Y plane. Let's go ahead and create a new sketch there. And this time I'm going to create just a basic rectangle. But this time I'm going to create it right here. So I'm going to make a rectangle right there. And then I'm going to go and do that revolve again. So I'm going to revolve cut this time. And this time my axis, I'm going to use that same axis already. And I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. And notice what happens. I'm just re removing that rectangular shape from the bottom of this other shape. Does it matter it goes a little bit over the edge? No, I can make it intersect as much as I want. It doesn't need to intersect, but it doesn't have to intersect the whole amount. Just a little bit is fine. I can cut things away. Of course, you have to have something to cut, but uh, again, this can cut multiple features. It can cut multiple parts all at the same time. So it's a pretty simple example of how you can just use that to just revolve or cut. And almost like you think about it in a lathe, like if you're gonna turn a part, you wanna start with a big, piece of round material, you're going to machine away or turn away uh, that material on the outside to get to your final shape. This is a great way to think about revolved cut. It is, it's a material removal process and it's definitely very effective uh, in, in kind of viewing and seeing how parts would actually be made in the real world in like a turning center or a lathe uh, just by removing that and defining what those shapes are.